In this video I will be painting my favorite cat princess with gouache on black watercolor paper and then I'm going to use some gold leaf to add some pizzazz to my painting and I'm going to show you how I do it. First I'm going to sketch out the cat with white pencil. I obviously can't use regular pencil, I won't be able to see anything. And so here we go. Okay, we're ready to paint. I will definitely need some white and I will need some cobalt blue, maybe some sap green and definitely some ultramarine blue. And let me see. I want to use some red, but I think not the light red, I'm going to use some crimson. It will come in handy for mixing the purples for the cat's skin. And the first stage of painting is just defining the shape of the cat, covering the black with some paint and working on large forms. Once that is done, I can start adding details, working on the eyes, adding some darker areas on the ears. I'm leaving the muzzle as uh, paper, but I might have to add a little bit black gouache there to correct some of my strokes. We will see as the painting progresses. I just love how this cat is wrapped in the blanket. Of course, she's always cold, poor thing, she has no fur. So my gold background around the cat is going to imitate, hopefully, the texture of the blanket and you will see how I'm going to achieve this. Okay, for darker areas, I mixed my crimson with ultramarine blue and I dropped in a bit of that uh, sap green that I have on the palette to neutralize it and I'm gonna apply it in the darkest folds of her skin. I need to add a bit more crimson, I ran out. And now crimson mixed with ultramarine blue will be great for her dark nose and the face area where I went a little too heavy with the light colors. Now I can restore darks without using black actually. So her face doesn't look like a hole blending with the black paper, but it will actually look like a painting with that really dark purple color that I'm using instead of black.
Okay, I'm going to verify the overall shape of the cat, but it's pretty much ready. Just a few more small details. And she looks a little grumpy, but my friend who she lives with always tells me how sweet and loving this cat is, and she just loves cuddles and loves everybody. Alright, now that the painting is ready, I am going to tape off the area that I'm going to apply gold leaf to. Initially I thought making it an oval, but I think it will be very hard to do. I will need some sort of a stencil to make the edges look right, so instead I'm going to use some masking tape and mask out a rectangle. And I am going to use a bit of um, sponge because I don't want the gold leaf to stick everywhere. You will see I want this uh, texture defect. So I'm using some acrylic matte medium that I'm going to apply with a sponge to the areas around the cat. Here's my gold leaf. I turned off the air conditioning and I closed the window. And I'm using a piece of wax paper to pick up the gold leaf so that it won't stick to my fingers. But I can't resist touching it, so it's gonna stick to my fingers anyway. And I am applying it to my matte medium that I left to dry for like maybe a second or two. Oops, I got a piece of tissue paper that they put between the layers of um, gold leaf. Let me get it off. Okay, and let's work on the lower portion. I know it looks a bit of a mess, but I think after everything dries it will all look fine. So let's put some matte medium on the bottom and apply a few more sheets of this imitation gold leaf. And if I miss some areas, it's no big deal. I can always add a little more matte medium and a little more gold leaf later. You can actually use special glue that's meant for gilding. I think it's called gilding glue, but I didn't have any and I read that you can use PVA or matte medium that I'm using and it works just as well, especially for paper. Okay, I think I got everything covered, so now I'm going to take a soft brush and try to brush off the excess gold leaf. It's actually better to do this outside, but since I'm filming, I'm doing it in my studio. Hopefully I won't make too big of a mess. And also I think it's a good idea to collect those shavings and maybe use them for another project. Just put them in a little bag. The first brush I tried was way too soft, so I'm using a different brush. And you can see that the gold leaf starts to come off in some areas, and I think I'm getting that textured effect that I was going for around my cat. And I think her eyes can use a little touch of gold as well. I'm gonna stick a couple small pieces in there as highlights. And maybe to bring the background into the painting, 
I'm going to give her a little like a necklace and I'm gonna just move some shavings over to the, to the cat area because I don't want her to be cut and pasted on that gold background. I want the whole thing to work together. And I'm looking at her blanket and I'm imitating that effect where the blanket kind of wraps itself around the cat. So I'm trying to replicate that with my gold leaf. All right, I got the excess off, everything dried, and I'm going to take off my masking tape and I'll have to touch up those areas where I have some white pencil left from that initial oval that I drew. I'm just gonna apply a bit of black gouache to cover it up. Maybe make a few more corrections with black gouache on the cat. Bring out her eyes a little more, the tips of her ears, give her a little more definition. And we're done. Here's gouache painting of a cat on black watercolor paper with some gold enhancements.